Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate where the center of gravity of something is located, especially as it applies to cardboard boat building. I've got a fairly simple example here. This works in any axis, so you can apply it over and over. In this case, we'll just pretend it's the x-axis since it's laid out like this, but you could turn it and twist it for the y and the z or any other axis you want. What you start out doing is you pick an arbitrary reference point, which I've denoted here by my green line. Then what you do is you measure how far away from the line each of your individual weights are. So let's say you've got 10 pounds at 18 inches away from this line. That 10 pounds could be an oar, maybe a battery, a camera, something. Something 10 pounds is sitting 18 inches away from wherever you decide to measure from. Now for my boats, I typically measure from the very tip of the bow. So we got 10 pounds 18 inches back, then you know you've got 50 pounds 36 inches back. Uh, this could be, maybe this is the center of mass of your boat. Maybe your boat weighs 50 pounds and it happens to be 72 inches long, so it's concentrated at halfway at 36. Maybe you've got a really lightweight kid that's going to sit at 36, whatever. Then maybe all the way at the back, or in case maybe it's midway, depending on how big a boat you're building, or whatever, at 70 inch mark, you've got another 30 pounds. So you've got your distances, you've got your weights at each distance, so then what you do is you calculate the moment. Uh, the moment is simply a, a torque. It's a force times a distance. So you've got your force at a distance at each point, 36 and 50, 1800, 2100 here. These are in inch pounds because we used inches and pounds. You could use foot pounds, uh, newton meters, anything. Just be consistent throughout the whole thing. So then you take all your moments, 180, 1800, and 2100, and you sum them up. Sum of the moments over the sum of the masses. The sum of the moments in our case is 4,080 inch pounds. That's great. So we take that and divide by the sum of the masses, or in this case the sum of our weights, uh, 10, 50, and 30 to get 90. You divide all this out and you get 45.33333. So 45.3 inches. What this tells us is that somewhere right in here at 45.3 is where all this mass could be uh, considered to be concentrated. So that's how you find the center of mass of something. It's simply the sum of the moments, which is force times distance, over the sum of all the masses or forces. Hope that helps explain things a little bit. This is what we're going to use to calcul help calculate the stability of our boat. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.